Hi, my name is Michael Zen, and I'm the author of Reconstructive Surgery with Glenn Jones. The story of this book is actually pretty interesting. Glenn Jones uh, was very close to Foad Nahai and Steve Mathis, and it was time to redo their classic book on flaps, which is a pretty big project. At the same time, uh, I was working with QMP, and we were talking about doing a flap course book for the Duke Flap Course, which is becoming pretty popular. And we needed a good textbook because there's no good anatomy text that really covered the full spectrum of the flaps that we were covering and really on how to do the flaps. And so QMP actually put Glenn and I together. Glenn's always been a mentor of mine. And what a pleasure to work with him. And we really went through and got rid of all the flaps that people just weren't using anymore, added in all the flaps that everybody needed to know, and were able to produce this book, uh, which took almost two years uh, and was a really fantastic project. Um, I think the book is, a, is an interesting book, and I think it's different than any other flat books that you'll see, because what we did is we took all the best that there was in all the other flat books. So some books were great at describing dissection. They had beautiful black and white pictures, but they didn't have any clinical pictures. Some had great clinical pictures, but had no descriptions. A lot of them also, I find, where each chapter is written by a different author, were not very consistent. Some really good chapters, some not so good chapters. Glenn and I decided that we would just rewrite the whole text. So Glenn and I did all the writing, but what we did is we invited experts for each of the chapters. And the purpose of that really was twofold. Number one, these are people who do these flaps day in and day out and who could comment on the chapter, saying we agree with this or we find this really helpful. Probably more important though, each person that was asked to comment and be an expert contributed four or five cases. And I think that is such a huge benefit of this book is that you can look you can see the clinical cases and see what they were used for. I think the, the, the best feature of this textbook, though, is that there's not many books where you can pick up a book and read about a flap and then literally go and do it. So you'll know the anatomy, you'll actually see the dissection techniques, and even for some of the chapters included in the textbook, there's actually video dissection. You know, it's really the whole, it's the whole packet, and I've seen people who are brand new starting out residents where it's perfect because they're getting the anatomy, they're getting an exposure, but I've also seen people who have been in practice for a while, maybe they haven't done a groin flap in about 10 years, and now they need to do one. They've told me they've picked up my book, and they've read it, and they can go and do it because it brings everything back and it gives them all the information they need right here. No more looking through articles, no more uh, going through the internet looking for answers. So I think you're gonna enjoy it. This is a, a, a complete text, uh, and uh, really, in my mind, takes you from A to B, from thinking about the flap and planning it. Another really interesting thing about this is this book helps you make decisions about which flaps to use. Now, oftentimes you may have a defect or a reconstruction that needs to be done in an area, say the shoulder, and the question is which flap should you be thinking of? Well, one of the chapters in the book literally takes areas of the body and tells you the flaps you should be considering, and if it's not a local flap, what free flaps you should think about. And if you're going to do a free flap here, what are the recipient vessels you should be doing? And this algorithmic approach to solving the reconstructive problems is something that really is unique and I haven't seen in any other textbook. You know, all in all, this textbook is not going to do the surgery for you. It's going to show you all the flaps that you need. It's going to show you how to dissect them safely, avoiding pitfalls and complications. But ultimately, it's you, the reconstructive surgeon, who's going to have to put everything together and take care of your patients. Probably the QMP book that I enjoy the most uh, is the Perforator book uh, by Dr. Blondiel and company. It really was the first of its kind to develop and talk about perforator flaps, which were, to people of my generation expect, especially, something completely new. If you're a resident in training now, it's a book that's probably invaluable for dissecting perforator flaps, and you're seeing them all the time, and it's common sense. For an older guy like me who's used to doing reconstructive surgery, we had to learn perforator flaps ourselves. And the book is very, very detailed, tells you the dissections that you need to do, and is written by the best experts. And that's why I think I love that book the best.